Hey guys, what's happening? This is Forgo Nation. Today we're not monkeying around. Uh, sorry about that, guys. That probably wasn't that funny, but I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist. I'm sorry. I, I was a cheap one. It was a cheap one. I'm sorry. But Gorilla Man. Uh, first thing, guys, aesthetically, I think he looks pretty cool. I mean, he's he's a gorilla with a outfit on and some guns, so I mean, pretty cool. Uh, he's completely free to play to get, which is definitely sweet. Uh, I have to tell you guys, this guy, he's pretty damn easy to play, and he's got some pretty damn good survivability. Uh, he's definitely not going to be some OG in the game. Uh, he's mainly going to be a Shadowland character, but he can do World Boss for sure, guys. But, you know, keep in mind when you're watching today's run that I have max raid level. You know, max raid level is 499. So, yeah, that makes a massive difference in the amount of damage you're doing. So I really think he's just going to be mainly a Shadowland character for most people. I know he is for me, but he is fun to play. He is safe to use. Uh, guy's got a pretty good kit. I mean, he's set up pretty sweet. Uh, he's definitely worth building, in my opinion. Uh, he has almost 18,000 physical attack. He has max attack speed, 27 crit rate, 150 critical damage. Very low stats, guys. And that's making a big difference in the amount of damage he's doing. He has max in your defense, close enough. And he has max skill cooldown. You take a look at his gears. All of his gears are 20. No Uru's. He's going to have the bare minimum build as always, guys. Take a look at his tier 2 passive. Increased guaranteed critical rate by 30%. Sweet. So you don't need to use Coulson with this guy. He is a hero. And he has a solid decrease all damage received by 30%, which is dope. And then enhances effective skill, Ape Instinct, which is his 4 star passive. We'll talk about that in a minute. His one skill gives him two second stun, good for PvP. His two skill gives him a three second stun, good for PvP. And it's going to be really good in Shadowland too. Uh, the third skill is a nice increased character size by 20%. All attack by 36%. This lasts for eight seconds and all defense buff by 30%. And he gets a 3% recovery of max HP, which wasn't in the beta. So it's pretty damn awesome that Netmarble put this in his kit. I think it's fantastic. And he also gets a 4 seconds of invincibility, which is freaking dope. That's going to give him super armor so he won't get guard broken. And in the rotation that you use, you definitely want to have a skill that doesn't get guard broken. So this is pretty dope that they put this in his kit. He has, now this is that Ape Instinct 4-star uh, passive. Gives him a 50% increase of HP, which is freaking bonkers, guys. Like, look at his HP. Look at this. 43,000 HP. That is freaking crazy. That's a lot of damn HP, man. I don't have much HP on my cards. So that's pretty awesome. I mean, my cards are built for attack. Built for solid PvE, and that's pretty much it. I got a little max HP, but not much. His fourth skill gives him another three seconds of stun. So that's three skills with stuns. His fifth skill gives him a five second silence. So this guy's got a lot of crowd control and effects that he can use in Shadowland for sure. None of these things are going to work in World Boss, but this remove all debuff, that's pretty dope too for five seconds. Me likey. So let's preview the skill. Okay, guys. So we'll just start with that three to do that attack buff. Look at that. <laughs> that's pretty dope, man. I like how he pounds his chest. That's dope. That is dope. And then you got the four skill. Okay, that leaves him completely vulnerable, but in the rotation, you're going to hit your three, then you're going to hit the four. You'll be completely safe. You won't get guard broken during the four. And from my testing, guys, it seems like he's doing more damage on his four, but the five, the fifth skill does do some pretty good damage. So if the proc misses on the four, then go ahead and try to get the proc on the five. That's what you're going to see me do in the run that I'm going to do. But I do believe the four is doing a little bit more damage. Then you got the fifth skill here which is a nice iframe. That is freaking dope. And then the two skill, nice little iframe there. I mean, guy's got some good survivability. I mean, it's got a little hesitation at the beginning of that two skill, but other than that, it's a good partial iframe. The one, a little bit of a partial iframe. We're not going to use it. That thing will leave you completely vulnerable. But he's got a good kit. So the rotation I'm doing, guys, I just hit the three, hit the four, put the damage proc on the four. Then I either hit the two or the five, or then the five and then the two. Either way, it doesn't matter. It just depends. If the proc doesn't hit on the four, I go ahead and hit the five. If the proc hits on the four, then I'll probably hit the two, then the five. So let's get out of here. Now he's pretty cool, man. I got to tell you guys, like, Gorilla Man isn't the strongest character by no means, but 
he's pretty fun and he, he's got a lot of survivability. He really, it's pretty insane, guys. He's got a stage six overdrive set and he has, I put an immunity to snare on him uh, just to make sure he doesn't get snared at any given point in the fight because I really hate tornadoes. I had this at 160% damage prop. I thought, what the hell? And it works out pretty good. I mean, he's not getting any extra crit rate or crit damage, which would really be nice for him. But this is actually a fairly decent obelisk. You really want to give him like something with crit damage and uh, a damage proc. I don't think he's going to be that great in PvP. I mean, maybe, but I don't think so. And then he has no uniform. So, guys, let's take old boy into world boss. and Let's just show how good his survivability is. Let's rock and roll. Alrighty guys, so we're just going to be using uh, Beast Leadership, that 50% physical attack, and we're going to get that attack buff from his fist skill once in a while. We're using Shuri because we don't need Coulson since Gorilla Man has that guaranteed critical rate, and Shuri is going to be offering that 45% damage to super villains, and she's going to have that decreased damage received by 35%, which is just adding to the decreased damage received that Gorilla Man already has, making him even more of a tank. But on top of having all the HP having all the decreased damage received uh i mean he's got the invincibility he's got the freaking heal this guy he has amazing survivability this dude is easy to keep alive and that's part of the charm of this character you know that's part of the fun of him i mean his damage is you know i mean it's nothing special guys we're doing stage 30 we're definitely not going you know using strikers because that would just skew the damage tremendously uh, obviously, if we were using strikers, he could do way better than this. Uh, you know, he doesn't have all defense down in his kit or anything. I mean, this is just his raw damage. But, man, he's easy as hell to keep alive. I mean, the guy's super... I mean, it makes him fun to play. When you can come into Proxima, who has penetration, and she's just jumping around all over the place, she can be a bit of an annoyance to fight. But with Gorilla Man, I mean, she's going to cancel the skills once in a while, but with Gorilla Man, it's not bad at all. It is not bad at all. I mean, you're not really worried about anything. I don't have to bring Anti-Venom in here. I don't have to bring, I mean, you can just bring him in here and do a nice little solo with him if you want. It's pretty dope, man. I got to say, I mean, he's a pretty cool character, you know. I mean, he's just going to be one of them characters to, characters to me that's going to be above par from a lot of other characters. But definitely far from any kind of, you know, super strong character. Like I said, guys, he's mainly just going to be a Shadowland character. But I don't say that in disgust or anything. I mean, I I think he's a pretty cool character. I really do like him. Uh, I think he's pretty dope. And, and in the future, when we do other videos of this guy with Strikers, you're going to see that he can do a lot better than this. Uh, so, yeah, you know, them Strikers are going to make a big difference, especially these days. But look at him go, man. Look at him go. You know, the one bad thing about him is it's kind of difficult to, you know, keep his prop on the floor. A lot of times it wants, it just doesn't want to hit. So, yeah. It seems like the fist skill triggers it early, but I wish we could cancel the fist skill. I think I'm being a little greedy right now, but I wish we could just cancel that fist skill and then get all that debris falling on Proxima and help, help trigger the proc to where when we hit it on the four, we get the proc at the beginning of the four. Man, that damage would be so much better. But it is what it is, you know. No character's perfect, you know. And So, I mean, but man, but his survivability is really, really what stands out. I mean, that HP is insane. And the only time, you know, I got to switch or that I get worried is when the purple shows up. I mean, that purple will penetrate super armor, guys. So it will guard break him. The one thing we don't have to worry about is getting snared since we have the immunity to snare obelisk. And against Proxima, it's just pretty dope having immunity to snare. Not always recommended. I mean, you know, obviously you really don't need it for a lot of characters. But, you know, it's nice to have just something le uh, less to worry about. But look at him go. Look at him go. I mean, he's he's doing all right. We are running a, a little bit behind as far as damage. But we're not trying to showcase how strong he is. Because, like I said, he's no super OP character by any means. But he's a good character. I mean, he's really worth building. He's a good character. This guy's going to be... I mean, guys, like, seriously, I know, you know, this isn't some... You know, we say this all the time. But in Shadowland, he's going to do pretty damn good. I mean, you're not going to have to... He's got all that crowd control. He's got, you know, stuns on three different skills. The silence on the one skill. He's got to remove all debuff. I mean, so if he gets debuffed, he'll remove it. You know I mean? That's, that's pretty dope. 
So he's he's going to be pretty quality, especially in Shadowland. But obviously, you know, in World Boss, he can definitely do it. And, you know, you guys that have the really low raid levels, I wouldn't expect a whole lot from old boy in World Boss. But, but hell, you know, throw some, you know, strong strikers in there. Yeah, he's going to do pretty damn good. You know, you put Namor in there, or, you know, against Proxima and Scarlet and Weapon Hex and blah, blah, blah. But, I mean, I, I don't think most, I don't, you know, unless we're just doing it for fun, just having some fun with a character. Probably not going to do that with a character like this. But it is always good to have a little fun, you know, especially with low tier characters uh, to see what they can really do or what they're capable of doing with, you know, the OP striker setup that we got going on now. Look at him go. There, that proc hit on that four. You know, and that damage does look pretty decent, you know. Not too bad when you hit it on that four. Ooh, we gotta watch. Watch out. We gotta switch. He is a little slow, though. His movement speed is not the fastest. So, when you see the purple come out, it's definitely best to go ahead and switch his butt. Because he barely can outrun that crap. I mean, he's right with it. So, we're gonna pause it. Boom. So, we got almost four bars left doing stage 30, guys with no strikers at all. So all in all, I think Gorilla Man's a really good character. Nothing special, but definitely safe, man. One of the safest characters you could play in this freaking game. So guys, let me know what you think about Gorilla Man, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one.